Hi, Milan Alicia here. I moved to New York City alone three years ago after I graduated from college, but I didn't decide to start documenting my experience until now. I'd like to share a bit of my journey of living in New York the past few years while also showing my morning routine that I partake in to manage from anxiety cup overthinking. Living in New York induces a lot of anxiety, so this routine really helps me cope. originally from New Orleans but have truly lived across the entire South. My first venture into New York City was when I won an essay writing contest in high school and was awarded a free trip to New York. I fell in love. I then received a full tuition college to Bard College in upstate New York. Throughout my four years of college, I would often take trips to New York City and knew that I would one day live here, but I didn't quite know how. Fast forward to now, here I am in the Big Apple. Living in New York has its ups and downs. For one, I live here alone. All of my family is down south and I don't have many friends here. I often feel isolated, alone, and anxious. New York is also very expensive, which often makes you feel like I shouldn't live here. When I first moved to the city after graduating from college, I actually had no job. Graduating with no job made me initially feel depressed because during college, I had many prestigious internships at companies such as Google, YouTube, and Viacom, CBS. Through my first few months of living in New York, I used to do freelance gigs such as marketing, photography, and filmmaking. My first job didn't come until about six months of me living here, which was at MTV Networks on the talent and series development team. It was a great way to start my postgraduate career because I was able to learn the ins and outs of casting and program development, but I was paid minimum wage and lived paycheck to paycheck. Not ideal for New York City. Because I was broke, my first apartment was in a shared three-bedroom apartment in Blackfish, Brooklyn, that I shared with four, sometimes five other people. Yes, four people in a three-bedroom apartment. Basically, my old apartment would rent out each room by room, and we were all on individual leases, which was great because we were only responsible for the rent of our rooms and not the full apartment. But when it came to splitting bills and all other amenities, that was a nightmare. My first roommates were great, but once they moved out and replaced my newer roommates, all hell broke loose in the apartment. It went from a place of tranquility to a smelly dungeon of apathy. But I was broke. So I ended up living there for about two years. My first years of living in New York were honestly a struggle that I'd love to talk about further or write about one day. I dealt with being unemployed, underemployed, loneliness, anxiety, and so much more. I'm now working in the journalism industry at CBS News, which is allowing me to move closer to my career goals of being a long form news producer. I luckily now live alone in my studio apartment with my cat, whom I recently adopted. Adopting a cat was a great idea for me. New York City can be very lonely at times. It's quite hard to make genuine friendships here. I often find that people only want to be associated with you if they can benefit from you in some way. Like whenever I go out, the first thing people I hear ask me is, what do you do? And to me, that doesn't quite matter unless you're a murderer or something. Because you shouldn't care about who I, what I do. You should more so care about who I am as a person, not what service I can provide for you. Since moving here, I've only met a handful of people that I would actually consider my friend. One thing I 
like to highlight on my journey to living in New York City is experiencing how segregated New York City is in terms of class, race, and ethnicity. New York City is known to be a diverse melting pot, but it's quite hard to pride yourself on diversity when we're all segregated by our money, skin color, and languages. If you don't believe me, try going to a restaurant or a beach side and looking at everyone watch you as you eat your food. It feels like you just don't belong at all. Despite my anxiety and sometimes dauntness about living here, I am proud of myself that I've been able to thrive here over the past three years. I'm excited for my continued journey of living in New York City. At the end of the day, I just want to be proud of the person that New York City has allowed me to become. I want to be proud of my life, of the way I've healed, of the way I've made mistakes and learned from them, and of the way I pushed back against adversity, even when it wasn't comfortable or convenient. I want to be proud of the way I grew, of the way I let go, and of the way I pushed my home to become a better person. I want to be able to say that I am proud of the way I'm surprised in New York City from moving here unemployed, living in an uncomfortable situation, to not finding my footing in my career and affording the life I've always dreamed of. I'm also proud of my tenacity, courage, and adaptability. Leaving down south to move here completely away from my family, alone with very little friends, has been quite a challenge, but this has been needed for me, and I am just so proud of the growth that I've been able to experience here. I am meeting some really nice people, and I am just experiencing all the culture and opportunities that New York City has to offer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed one of my morning routines. I showed you how I cope with some anxiety. And I hope you stick around for the rest of my New York City journey. I'll be sharing lots more. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!